Hey there, how are you doing? Welcome you all to the hands-on video of Windows 10 Mobile Redstone Build 14376. Microsoft has pushed this build to Windows Insiders in Fastering yesterday. And as expected, this build would not bring or does not bring any uh, major new features or significant changes. Microsoft has uh, yesterday announced the official release date for anniversary update and that is supposed to go out on August 2. So since uh, we are very close to the um, I mean official anniversary update release so these last builds would not pack any major new features they would rather bring fixes and improvements for getting that sort of polish which a uh, stable build requires so we will just evaluate this build we will share our installation experience and we will i mean share uh, our impressions of the build uh, with emphasis on the battery life and uh, performance etc so let's begin we will first talk about the installation experience so the installation experience in our case uh, with the build 14376 i mean it has been quite mixed so it should not be like this but it has been mixed on two devices it was pretty smooth on uh, third device we faced certain issues i mean there may be i, I don't think it's one any issue with the device per se it was some issue with the servers because uh, I mean the update many times got disconnected etc. So since we are uh, very close to the anniversary update release so Microsoft better sort it out because if you uh, talk about the last few builds it has been very smooth but in this build they're like we'll say it's a 60 uh, I mean kind of not 66 and 33 kind of ratio so two devices got it through very easily while one device uh, I mean that that went into issues. So now coming to other things, we'll talk about how the build behaves. So we will just do a bit of hands-on. So normal things like if we talk about, uh, I mean, normal behavior, then it, it, it is fine actually. The navigation, the scrolling, the normal working of start screen, going to app list, coming back, pinning apps to the home screen, etc. It's, it's all <coughs> sorted out. I mean, it has been like that. Uh, in Redstone, Redstone is quite good. I mean, in that way, that's pretty fast and responsive. So it, it works pretty well, quite good here as well. Now, the same things, same kind of behavior you can see in uh, all the apps, notification, etc. If you talk about normal behavior of all these things, it is quite decent. We have not seen any crashes or issues, um, many freezes, etc. with this build. You can quickly check the settings and the navigation of them. So <clears throat> again, very, very fast. Actually, the response always pleases me. I mean, <laughs> if we compare to the threshold, it's quite in another league. On the same device actually if you use the same device and you run threshold and then you run redstone redstone is quickly come in much quicker uh, and the response the uniformity of the response across the ui it's good So as you can see the action center it all behaves pretty well quite uh, looks sorted out <clears throat> now coming to how the multitasking works so we will this time show you two games so in the last few bits we have been talking about the ram management and while the ram management and the multitasking works very well with apps in games it used to give some kind of issues but with this will be tested a uwp game like the latest subway surfer which is a made for windows 10 uwp kind of game so we will load it and at the same time we will also load uh, one i mean kind of very popular traffic rider which is an old game i think it has not been uh, kind of tuned for windows 10 mobile and we will just show you how the behavior you know differs in uh, amongst these two games when you uh, load them So 
if you send the subway surfer to the background okay let's start playing and then we can so now we'll send it to the background we sent it <clears throat> let's go to the traffic rider let's load it as well Let's send it to the background as well. So now if I try to resume these two games, you will see the difference. So let us first try to resume the subway surfer. And you can see that it, it resumes instantly. So there is no gap, no uh, kind of sluggishness or... But if we try to resume the traffic rider, you will see why the developers should try to you know optimize their games uh, as per the windows 10 mobile guidelines so you can see a lag there with traffic rider so again we'll try to resume the subway surfer and it's surprisingly very fast so there uh, <coughs> i just wanted to show it to you because we are the only ones who are like talking about it so now it seems that if the games are optimized well optimized to windows 10 mobile they resume very well just like the apps and we have seen many times the apps they resume really really fast actually almost instantly so here also with build 14376 you don't see any kind of lags or those kind of things i mean kotana or whatever you see i mean all these apps and uh, they, they just behave awesome like in a way when you talk about multitasking they resume really really fast it's quite responsive let's send it to the background and now we will check like we checked for games F4 apps it usually is really good so it would be but let's quickly check it because it's better to always check and see things rather than just saying that so it's so fast actually good so the app resume really works well even the games resumes very well now the games resume very well and especially the games which are now uh, optimized for windows 10 mobile like the uwp games they resume really really fast almost instantly so it's quite good so we rate it really high if you ask us <clears throat> now if we go to the battery so here the battery on our uh, lumia 640xl it's well known for good battery life it is working consistently i mean well with the uh, with the build 14376 so you can still see that 68 percent it claims to give me 23 for 23 hours i will say that it's not 23 it may be less than that like 20 but still it's quite good so i am currently getting like 26 27 hours with full charge quite good so again it's it's in the uh, going in the right direction the multitasking looks good for me there are no crashes i have seen i mean people complaining a uh, few of you told me that you are facing issues with uh, different kind of uh, like uh, crashes or uh, even in quote for some Kotana is crashing but if you ask us even I have not done any hard reset on this uh, this device for at least I think the last seven eight builds I have not done any hard reset but still it is working fine I mean I'm impressed with this the browser has been really good behaving quite well for me we will quickly check the HTML score
so it gets 463 so that's what so as you can see uh, in our hands-on video with Lumia 6 uh, I mean with the build 14376 on a Lumia 640XL it, it behaves very well it is certainly now almost close to become a or behave like a stable release build it's quite good bug free I mean I have not seen it crashing or having issues yes okay okay at this point I have to just mention it so I should be like honestly saying that uh, the store app the store app has been you know uh, it has got an update and it is improved but at certain times when you go to downloads and updates page you come back again and go again then you can face some issues everything does not come uh, very fast actually at that point you can face some issues with it and uh, till now the store has not crashed after the latest update but I mean sometimes it feels that it may crash so I think only the store has got a bit of uh, issues even on this build so Microsoft so should try to sort it out soon but apart from that the build is quite good I mean it is really one of the best builds that I've seen and I mean with the improvement in RAM management and you can see the games are really resuming well so obviously it uh, makes the experience better for users so we can actually quickly check the uh, video demo as well we can quickly watch a video and then we will call an end to this hands-on so let's go to YouTube Things are better. The world is better. Just because there's not a war doesn't mean there's peace. He's coming. Some call him Apocalypse. <laughs> he was some kind of god. For thousands of years, he's been amassing mutants. And from the ashes of that world, we will build a better one. I've never felt power like this before. Things are better. The world is better. Just because there's not a war doesn't mean there's peace. He's coming. Some call him Apocalypse. The world needs the X-Men. I'm not a hero. Students look up to you. If I'm going to teach your kids something, I'm going to teach them how to fight. So there we are, and uh, we come to end of this video where we have shared the installation experience. We uh, demoed the multitasking part, performance, browsing, gaming. We saw how it resumes, how it performs. We share the battery life impressions so with that uh, we'll say thanks for watching the video i hope you have liked it stay tuned for more